it's Miss Elizabeth here and Miss Dania and to celebrate Cinco de Mayo we are going to be making some noisemakers and showing you guys how to follow along at home so I myself am going to be making a tambourine or I'm sorry I myself am going to make a maraca and Miss Danielle what are you going to be making today? A tambourine! That's right so uh, let's get started and we'll see how we make out in the end so for the tambourine we get two plates. We are going to decorate them before we do anything else. And then I will continue to let you know what I do from there. Awesome. All right, so for the maracas, I'm gonna take two spoons and then I'm gonna take an Easter egg. So if you have any Easter eggs at home that you um, have laying around and that um, are okay to use, definitely grab one. I grabbed orange because I like how nice and bright this one is. And what we're gonna do with the egg is we're just gonna um, fill it up with some beads for the noise. Uh, if you don't have beads at home, you can use corn or beans, obviously dry. Um, not anything in like a can or anything like that because it'll be wet and it won't make noise. So I'm just going to fill mine up with some beads. Another good way or another good thing is like rocks, little baby rocks from yes, outside. Yes, that's a great idea. Oh, sorry. sorry. Alright, so I've got my egg all filled up there, if you can see that. And then I'm just going to close it up nice and tight. Ooh, we are like halfway there. Alright, then, Miss Danielle, I might need your help with this part. No problem. Um, I'm going to have Miss Danielle hold the, ooh, ooh. See? hold the two spoons together on the egg for me. And then I'm going to go around a few times and tape it. So that way we've got it nice and sturdy. And this is masking tape. You can use duct tape or any other type of tape that you have. All right, I think that's good. I think so. All right. So rip that off. Thank there you. you. You're welcome. And then we're just going to make any type of pattern, any type of decoration that we want. Um, I'm going to use some bright colors to be festive. Some yellow, red, maybe even some green. And yeah, I'm just going to make any pattern. So if you like chevrons or dots or triangles or squares or circles, whatever you want. So now that I have my plates decorated, I'm going to take some cereal just because the plates are a little bit smaller and we do have smaller beads. Mm -hmm. So do a couple pieces of cereal and I may do some bigger beads that I see we do have a little bit bigger beads. Oh yeah. Just to give it a whole source of different noises. Not good solid noise. Yep. But before I do that, I should go ahead and poke my holes in it. Do you mind passing me the markers? Please? Sure. There Three. you go, ma'am. But when you do the holes, you want to put your plates together so that the holes line up. That's right. Absolutely. What's your favorite Mexican food? Oh, that's so hard. I like my burritos. Burritos. And I'm just taking and poking several holes around the plates so that I can take pipe cleaners or if you don't have pipe cleaners, ribbon and tie them together. All right. Well, I am pretty much done with my maraca. Um, nice. If you can see, I did some chevrons and some red and yellow. It's kind of hard to tell. It's not super um, dark and opaque. 
Um, and then I did some random dots, and then I also wrote Feliz Cinco de Mayo, which just means happy um, May 5th. So, yeah. Do you like that? I do. We're fixing to have a party. Yeah, right? Put on some mm. Spanish music and have a great time. Absolutely. Do you need any help over there? Um, if you want to get me the pipe cleaners sure. out. Or do you want any specific colors? Nope. Oh. Just... Festive bright colors. Yeah. How many holes are you gonna do? I have done. Okay, just a moment. Okay. I have done one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. Kind of put my cereal back in, a couple beads. And then and all I'm doing now is taking and Twisting them together. Miss Elizabeth, can I have you hold the other side so that I'm not losing my beads or my seeds? Yes, of course. And if you always need help, just ask a parent or a guardian, little brother, little sister, someone to help out. It's a little not doing the holes exactly the same and then moving them kind of gave it a little different style. But it's all good. We are getting it worked out. So I'm just sitting here twisting. Should only have a couple more to go. I've had to just redo some holes, which is totally fine. Because we are going, we thought, and we're going to staple, go around and staple some of them. Just to make sure no beads or cereal get out. We don't want to make a mess everywhere. Nope. Because if you make a mess, you're the one having to clean it up at home. And if I know, I don't like cleaning up messes. Do you? I don't. I really don't. All right. We're gonna do. Ooh. I'm just doing a couple staples every little bit to ensure that nothing gets out. It does. All right, let's see. Cool. All right. And that is the tambourine. I think we are all ready for Cinco de Mayo. I think so. So we hope you guys have a happy holiday. Definitely let us know if you guys do end up doing any of these activities at home. Comment down below so we can see what you come up with. And thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.